Hello everybody and welcome. I'm No02. Thank you for watching this video. I will be going through all of the legendary weapons, quick little breakdowns and explanations of what they do and how they work, and some little numbers stuff that they got going on. If you aren't aware of the number system that Turtle Rock Studio has, firepower, range, accuracy, handling, mobility, those tell us nothing. Ignore those numbers. Their firepower is the combination of bullet damage plus rate of fire plus magazine size. Like, I don't... Like, the numbers don't actually represent what the bullet actually does to a target or what its stumble chance is and things like that. So all these numbers are just the, I don't know, almost like the opinions of the developers. They're not really anything useful to us. We won't be going through any of those numbers. I will be showing you, though, how much damage the gun does per bullet. It's, you know, the little stats like that. I will be showing you exactly how the final showdown effect works and how we can potentially use it. Then I'll just show you what the gun looks like in the light, and that's about it. Quick little rundown here, right? So the ability is Final Showdown. Enemies within 30 meters are drawn to the wielder of the weapon. Quite interesting, and quite interesting. So I'll show you right here. So I can ping a zombie. Now that ping is not floating above a zombie's head. That ping just represents where a zombie last was, right? That zombie's about 29 meter-ish away. And he's gonna start running towards me. He's gonna start running towards me here. But what this does is that when you are What's within that? 30 meters of a zombie, or a ridden in general, they will actually just run towards you. They will actually just run towards you. I realize they're running out of ammo. Oh, hello? And that's all it does. That's literally all it does. I want to, I want I want to point out that this is not a taunting effect. Not a taunting effect. What I mean by that is if there is a teammate in between me and the zombie that's charging me down, that that zombie will aggro onto my teammate that's in between me and the zombies. Also note that, What's that? Nemesis that effect still takes place even though I'm holding my Beretta. The, the final showdown pull zombies towards you effect is still happening even though I have the weapon holster. In addition to if a if a teammate what is literally is if a teammate is in front of you and a zombie is being aggroed onto you, right? The zombie will just aggro onto your teammate. In addition if a teammate was maybe not necessarily blocking our path, I found that once the ridden are sort of in the general combat range of you or your teammates it's all up and it's all up for grabs. It doesn't seem to be super consistent with what I mean by it's not a taunting effect. It'll pull zombies towards you, but at any point if the zombie gets a other desirable target, either in its way or just off to the side, the zombie could just as easily retarget somebody else. I'm sure there's probably like a distance where this uh, effect will not happen and you can probably play in a position where you do end up being sort of like a taunting effect. But other than playing around and testing that out specifically, I'll leave that up to you. Just, just understand that like it's not a taunting effect, but it could be in certain circumstances. Strategize to sort of be that way. Uh, so what do we really you do with this, right? So other than maybe positioning yourself in a place where you can, in fact, be like a true tank and taunt enemies to buy your teammates space. Or maybe like run away and pull a horde of zombies after you, buying your teammates time to do stuff. One, one thing that I've talked about in my videos before is uh, I've talked about like a leapfrogging effect. Imagine that we were just on a mission trying to get from point A to point B. And there's all these zombies in our way. We could sort of like shoot a zombie here or there and then step forward and kill some more zombies. But what I like to do is I, what I, I guess kind of coined like a leapfrogging effect. Where I like to shoot zombies off in the distance. Shoot them all off in the distance here. Pull them towards you. And as zombies get closer to you, you can start getting... Some collateral hits, right? You get some collaterals. It's easier to get headshots. Things like that. And now that we've cleared the, the area out of zombies, we can sprint forward and take that space. And you sort of rinse and repeat that concept of pulling zombies in a dis off in a distance by shooting at them. And then eliminating them when they get closer. And that saves ammo, because you can do collaterals. It helps you get headshots to save ammo. And just makes the zombies sort of funnel towards you. Well, you don't need to shoot them to do this style now because Nemesis will just do it for you naturally. 
that is another way that we can take advantage of this pulling effect where we can sort of like an MMORPG pull part of the mob towards us and deal with it more easily. And this could potentially, in addition to saving ammo, ammo save you time because you can more quickly clear out an area of zombies and then push forward and take that space because it's now empty and make forward progress in the mission. Now when it comes to how much damage this thing does to the body, we're going to see 46.1. I don't have any extra damage effects other than knowledge is power, which is weak spot damage, so it shouldn't affect body shots or leg shots. It's all the same, right? Shoot them in the hand. 46.1. This is a comparison. A blue M1A, which is the gun that Jim starts off with, but a blue version of it does 50 damage a bullet. The RPK, the purple RPK, I believe does 29 damage per bullet. Let me double check that number for you. Yeah, a, a purple RPK does 29.9 damage per bullet. This, this RPK, this legendary RPK does 46 damage per bullet. That is a lot of damage per bullet for a weapon that you can full auto with. As far as I can tell, it has good stumble. I don't have the actual stumble modifier for you. But if you shoot things, it does a lot of damage, and it will stumble the Reeker and the Stinger variants. Very nice, very convenient. So I would say, for the most part, there are some ways that we can get some value out of the final showdown effect that this gun has. But this is actually just a great gun to pick up overall for how much DPS it does. It shoots good, good bullets, and it shoots real fast. At least as fast as the RPK. It handles, just like the RPK does. And as you can see, I'm like... 40 meters away and shooting that zombie did 29 damage so even if we were at max range here even if we're at max range here which i believe is 29.5 at max range this just turns into a purple rpk at max range there it's it's the same as a purple rpk as far as dps goes still a pretty cool gun in that term stat wise like flat damage wise the effect is so-so, but it'll get some value out of it. That's it for the Nemesis, I think. Let me know if you have any other uh, questions, concerns, or other things that you know about this gun that I didn't cover yet. Uh, I would appreciate it. Otherwise, I will see you in the future.